guys, my name's Kayla and you're watching me on Aussie Beach TV. Aussie Beach TV. You're watching Aussie Beach TV. Gun, Gun bans, bans don't disarm criminals. Gun, Gun bans attract them. you watching Aussie Beach TV. The hottest girls you will ever see. Watch the trigger. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. That's yeah. it. Hold your arms out straight. Hold your arms straight. That's it. That's good. During Australia's gun buyback scheme, the law-abiding citizens and business owners handed in their firearms. The criminals did not. Firstly, tell everyone about the indoor Southport Pistol Club. Okay, down here we're a pistol club and we shoot uh, rimfire rifles. Uh, so you can come down, become a member, get your license, shoot uh, targets. We can get you licensed up so that you can go hunting, um, take care of uh, vermin and stuff like that, get rid of bunnies, the introduced species, stuff like that, pigs. Why you sit there? And what kind of weapons will we be firing today? Going to shoot a couple of different pistols today. Going to shoot a 22, which is nice and small. And then a 44 Magnum. <laughs> Where we are here, we've got the use of a gallery, which is uh, open to the public where anyone can shoot without a license. So we're going oh, to nice. use that here to give you girls a, uh, a shoot on the 44 Magnum. In Australia, there's uh, very strict uh, self-defence laws. Uh, you can't have your guns at home loaded or anything like that for self-defence, so you're pretty well stuck to uh, bare hands. Yeah, anything you keep in your house as a weapon for self-defence is illegal. Even a bat beside the bed is as a... Uh, deterrent is a weapon and not even for self-defense or anything like that nothing for self-defense so what? silly if you read the police website they want you to throw up on them Uh, what are some of the myths about firearms and safety? Uh, ooh, that's a tough question. Most of them are, are regarding, you know, that they're machine guns and, and people in Australia have all these high-powered stuff and it's very easy to kill someone with a gun. Oh, yeah. Uh, the old sniper <laughs> movies. Anyone can just pick up a rifle and, and knock someone's head off at a thousand metres. Yeah. Not going to happen. Even pistols, you'll see today, very hard to shoot at about five, six metres with no experience.
how popular is recreational shooting in Australia? Uh, at the moment it's fairly popular. Uh, there's a couple of articles in the local papers lately that we've been growing uh, bigger than any other sport in Australia. So we're out there. Uh, just at this club here we've got many different uh, walks of life. We've got lots of doctors. Uh, lawyers, as well as you know, your regular Aussies. I went to What are the laws applying to gun ownership in Queensland? Uh, gun ownership in Queensland is pretty straightforward. There's uh, two reasons you can have a rifle uh, for for most people. That's either hunting. or targets. And what are your thoughts on John Howard's gun buyback scheme in the 1990s? Uh, it was a terrific waste of money. All it did was take the guns out of the uh, licensed shooters' hands. Uh, they chopped up a lot of good stuff. And uh, criminals don't care. So they get them wherever. That's it, hey, they're going to keep making them. That's it, they keep <laughs> making them. Just the other day they got the post office guys for bringing in Glocks. What are some reasons for owning a firearm? Uh, there's only two, hunting and target shooting. Yeah, in Australia at the moment. Really? That's it. There are wow. others with uh, security guards and stuff like that. And uh, primary producers and stuff for putting down animals and that. But for sporting shooters, that's it, hunting and uh, targets. Uh, usually because most of the people that have got a gun license are, are, are fairly smart. Uh, we weed out the uh, crazy people and you're not going to get far with a mass shooting on a, a range when everybody's got guns. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> Did you know that Adolf Hitler, Joseph Stalin and Mao Zedong disarmed their citizens with gun control measures before starting with the real tyranny? You're watching me on Aussie Beach TV.